Homeless encampments and dry fuels are coming together here in a very dangerous way. A fire off of I-15 is showing just how easily somebody could get hurt or even worse. This special is Mike Anderson, hearing from city leaders and firefighters alike who are frustrated and they are concerned. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, these uh, camps are often set up in areas that are obscured by trees and brush like this over here. And, you know, you've got dry fuels and uh, camp stoves being used, creating a very dangerous situation. Taking only seconds to erupt, this fire just south of the 12th Street northbound off-ramp shows a clear threat to public safety. Firefighters say the black smoke coming from a huge pile of garbage and many propane tanks. Making meth or some sort of drugs or they're uh, then stealing copper wire and they're melting the plastic off of this so they can go sell the copper wire. Bob Morris, city administrator for Marriott Slaterville, says aside from cooking food, they often find drug users in the encampments who, as a result, are not allowed into local shelters. He says city crews often move them out, only to have them show up somewhere else between their city, West Haven, and Ogden. So you, you don't know what may be in that encampment environment and uh, that presents dangers to the, the unsheltered as well as to the firefighters. Ogden Fire Chief Mike Matthews says they recently started clearing trees and brush from a former encampment at the mouth of Ogden Canyon, partnering with the city and a landowner. That tends to discourage the camps but doesn't stop them from going somewhere else. We recognize the problem. We recognize there's no easy solution for it. And Merritt uh, Morris tells me that uh, Marriott Slaterville has even proposed creating a small, a tiny home community, but that, that idea, you know, getting some grants, but that idea was shot down by the Wasatch Front Regional Council, and they feel like the same, group, same groups right now are just kind of being moved around. Back to you. All right, Mike Anderson, live for us this evening. Mike, thank you.